that I would like to communicate today is that love and peace conquers everything. And the world has enough hate and the world has enough war and the world has enough division, but I think all we can learn from the attacks on Easter Sunday on April 21st is that if you fill your heart with love, then that conquers all the darkness in the world. And after the tragedy, I've got many emails from relatives and friends that how can people do this? And how can people have so much disregard for other lives? And I got so many emails filled with hate and anger and you know, how can you ever go back to Sri Lanka? And I answered that I love Sri Lanka. My family's always loved Sri Lanka. I think, um, you know, I'm, it's a blessing for me that my son, Jason, is still here. He was sitting next to my wife, Monique, when the suicide bomber blew himself up at the uh, Sydney Grand Breakfast. So the universe and the world has big plans for my son, Jason kept them here. I had looked at all my success from selling Sri Lanka gems and I told my, my best friend from Syria that I want to give back to Sri Lanka. How can I give back? I was thinking of building a school in Ratnapura. And then Punsir came back to me and said what they could really use was a children's hospital. There was no children's hospital in Ratnapura. So the, the you know, the poor sick children were basically on the floor of the general public hospital. So we came up with this idea to, um, to build a hospital. We opened the hospital on June 30th, 2017. And ever since I've been coming to Sri Lanka, all the different peoples and languages and religions, all my friends, Sinhalese, Muslim, Tamil, they've all gotten along in perfect harmony. 